her pappy to flee. Each morning she'd rise, and for exercise, she'd skate 50 miles in the green. Oh, dressed up in her suit trimmed with ermine, she looked just as cute as can be. When bedtime drew near, she would skate on her ear, an ice skater's daughter was she. J. Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. And now, my friends, this attractive piece of rope I hold here is positively guaranteed not to shake, rattle, roll, or smell in warm weather. What am I offered? Do I hear eight, 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 nine dollars? Who will make it ten? Uh, what time you got, Sonny? 11 o'clock. 
Who will make it 11? Do I hear 11 dollars? You say, uh, 7 o'clock? No, 11. So, to the lad with the checkered teeth for 11 dollars. But I did, 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 didn't buy this rope. Take it easy, Sonny. Just look on the other end and see what you bought. Here an instructor explains to his class of gliding enthusiasts the principles of motorless flight, how to avoid treacherous downdrafts, and how to take advantage of warm rising thermals. There they go, off to apply their instruction in man's closest challenge to the art of the birds. Swung by her teeth from a noose. But to one matinee, her bridge work gave way and she flew through the air like a goose. Thank <laughs> you. 